Hi guys, so I hope you all had a good pancake week. I ate about 8,000. Sorry, that was a bit disturbing. Do you like my new t-shirt? It is a laser cat. I thought it was kind of appropriate now I've started using Tumblr more. Also, I've been really ill this week, like the kind of ill where you start hallucinating and talking to your hand. Matilda. Because of the illness, I haven't really got that much to report on the life of Phil, so I thought I'd have to delve into the past, and you guys were asking for some more awkward childhood moments, so I thought I'd bring you some of the reasons why I was a weird kid. Catchy title, Phil. Yeah, I'm sure most kids are generally weird, but I did do a few things that I'm like, hmm, probably a good thing I didn't tell anyone about that. Until now. Braces. Now I had a friend called Jessica that lived on my street that was about two years older than me and I looked up to her so much. She was the best thing in the world, according to me. I wanted to be like her in every way. I made my handwriting like hers, I would talk like her. But there was one thing that I didn't have, well, apart from the fact that she was a girl, but she had braces. I was so jealous. I wanted braces. These must have been the shiny teeth sources of her power. So yeah, every time I went to the dentist, I would wish and hope and pray that he would say, Philip, you need braces, but he never ever did. So one night before the dentist, let's call it Dentist Eve, I actually lay there in bed trying to push my front teeth forward, like <laughs> in the hope that when I got to the dentist he would say I needed braces. Thankfully that didn't work and I never did get braces or a Jessica sex change. Fish! So when I was about six or seven I was on holiday in Portugal and I did an entire length of the pool which was pretty awesome and my grandma said to me, Ooh Philip you're such a good swimmer, I think you're part fish. So from that moment I was convinced I was some kind of superhero, fish boy. So when I got home I would secretly eat fish food <laughs> uh, in the hope that it would improve my superhero fishy powers. Oh dear. Metallic green envelope. So if you'd have asked six-year-old Phil the one thing that he wanted in the world, it would be a metallic green envelope. Now I don't know why. I don't know why I had this weird craving to own metallic green envelopes. I don't even know what I wanted to put in the envelopes if I wanted to post them to people. I just really, really wanted them. And I'd always ask for them for Christmas and I would never get them. So I never found out what I was going to use them for, unless I get one now. Who knows what might happen. Football! Now this is a weird one. The thing that scared me the most as a child was when people cheered during football matches. <laughs> so whenever there was a football match on TV and everyone was like, yeah, I would just burst into tears. So all my family would be like, he's gonna score, oh my god, yeah, yeah! And I'd be like, why does everyone have to yell? The Shadow Realm. Okay, this is probably the weirdest one. Uh, when I was in primary school, I used to talk to my shadow yeah. I believe that I could communicate with my shadow in the shadow realm. And I did this by putting my hood up and then walking along the netball lines, you know, that are drawn onto playgrounds. So I was just enjoying my time in the shadow realm, walking along this line, when all of a sudden I felt something soft press into my face. <laughs> So I looked up to realise that I'd walked directly into the boob of the scariest dinner lady in the school called Mrs. Goldsworthy and she was like, MY BREAST! So sorry, sorry. What are you doing anyway, boy? I was just in Shadow World. You are a danger to society. I never thought I would be called a danger to society, but yeah, after that I tried to keep my Shadow Realm antics on the down low. I'm a little bit more normal now. Honest. Please like this video if you want me to tell any more awkward childhood stories in the future. And please leave a comment with any childhood weirdnesses that you might have had to make me feel a little bit less strange. And today's Draw Feel Naked is... And I will see you next week. Bye guys. Whoa.